What sign and bow um, planning means is it's a, it's a term that describes a certain type of housing layout, regular parallel arrangement of long, thin blocks in parallel, 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 stretching into the distance. And Ardler is probably the most massive example, or <coughs> was the most massive example in Britain, of that, that form in its mass implementation in, in the UK. Across the dull soul, well, across the Adler. Get up to the cross the dull soul, like, you know? If they got the chance, they don't go back to the movies. Wentworth Court. 3D Barassi. 17E. And he used to keep buying me stuff. So I get these black leather high heel shoes. <laughs> and this rose, it was in perfume and everything. And I just threw it all down the chute. I used to like bright wallpaper. Getting like flowers. I was an happy partial for red. Curtains, you know, that one, red. Windows been covered with, you know, <laughs> we're not paying the poll tax. Dad's bar was cheesy. It made that like a naval office. Purple doors. Stripes <laughs> and boat <laughs> hole. Bad, of course. There was a painting in the living room and I think it was of Paris. There was no walls or nothing. The whole lot was gutted. Ah, your main walls in your living room, they're all gone. Kenny was demolishing it bit by bit and taking them out at night, getting two hold holes every night. Till he, till he took the whole lot down. And he was gone. And you, you couldn't figure out why they would have to do a thing like this, jumping out the windows. And I always felt it was too easy then, you know, living in a big high-rise block.
always talk to me. Because that's what I'm getting back at Tachi High Five. You know? That's what means out of noise. Because you've got the volume away. You know, maybe a musical afternoon or they'd lay on a singing from the left and with the lucky boys. Butterlorn Boot Boys and Ian. Young Mary Boys. Um. Paula, Pamela, Mandy. You felt safe. Eighty two World Cup. Watching it in people's houses, you know, taking turns to watch it in people's houses and No, to be so near so many people, you could go for quite a while without seeing anybody that you that you knew. You really could you could be for some people you were really lonely. It's just going to end up the same. The council lets a certain area run down. To the housing managers, who, who, you know, who know the conditions, and now those conditions are mainly capitalistic ones. That area uh, that housing to be built and to thrive has to be in these sort of um, intense urban, sort of iconic hotspots. All of which puts very much out in a limb, you know, uh, um, culturally, economically, as well as visually, these uh, massive blocks on the edges of, of, of cities like Red Road or, or um, Ardla. It seems strange that such huge and permanent and monumental looking buildings should in effect have, have proved to be a, a sort of 40 year transitional solution for housing a certain number of people and that they've really left a sort of just a, a transitional mark in the, in the memory of the city and the landscape of the city. But I think it would have been nice to keep one, um, possibly two, to just preserve the footprint of the, of the Zeilenbau pattern, um, it just seems, seems, seems sad and a little bit unnecessary, even if they couldn't all have been, been um, preserved. But I'm, I'm not a dyed-in-the-wool conservationist, so really, um, it's too bad, you know, as long as they're properly recorded. You know.